Hello and welcome to What the Math. Today we'll be doing Chapter 4e, which is problem solving using linear equations. Basically, this is your favorite topic. It's when you have a word problem and you have to turn this into a math problem and then you have to solve it. Fun. And when I say favorite topic, I mean the least favorite topic because almost every single student I've, uh, I know and I've met has always told me how much they hate word problems. So I'm going to try to give you a few steps and a few um, tips and, and hints on how to how to basically solve any any math word problem, specifically the ones from chapter uh, 4e. So let's start with the steps. What steps should you follow when you're trying to solve a problem? And we'll do this by looking at the example that's already given to you in the book. So we're going to be doing an example on uh, on page on page 102 and this is example 14 and the question is this Malika's mom is present presently four times as old as Malika in six years time her mom will only be three times as old as Malika is then how old is Malika now uh yeah very very difficult to understand very wordy question even though it's so short but here's some how, some tips and basically steps on how to solve this and step number one is this so what is the unknown what are we looking for here so basically in other words what is x? Where is x? Who is x? And in this case, in this particular question, the x is at the end of the question. How old is Malika? So Malika's age is x. This is Malika's age. Age of, I'll just call it Malika M. Step number two is identify the operations. So what are the operations involved here? Specifically, what are we doing? Are we multiplying? Are we adding? Are we subtracting? And here, this is where I really like to make a table. So let's actually do this right now. Let's make a table. So we have two different uh, unknowns here, or basically two different um, numbers that we have to deal with. And one of them is Malika's age, and this is Malika. And then her mom's age, and this is her mom. So what are we dealing with here? We have two different ages. Now we also have two different periods. In other words, we have another um, another uh, column right here, and this column is going to be. So the first column is the column on top is going to be now. So their age now today, and then the second column uh, is going to be age later, which is actually in where is it in six years time. So right here we have in six years time. So now, and this is six years later, six years later. So right now we know Malika's age and Malika's age right now is X. So this is X. And we also know that uh, her mom's age right now is times four. So in other words, it's four X. So her mom's age right now is four X. Now, what is Malika's age in six years? Well, it's of course it's six plus, uh, sorry, X plus six. And that's her age in six years. And her mom, her mom's age in six years is going to be four x plus six. So this is basically this is something that we have to try to identify or use some logic here uh, to to understand that basically six years later her mom's age is going to be four x plus six. Now the question gives us another piece of information, and that's that in six years' time her mom will be three times as old as Malika, three times as old. So it says it right here. In other words, what this means is that this here is three times of this so times three so if we actually rewrite this last column if we actually rewrite this what we're going to get is we're going to get three multiplied by x plus six equals to four x plus six and this is actually our step number three and step number three is translate the problem into the equation. So this is where you'll have x equals so on and so forth. And that's step number three. And step number four is solve for x. Find x. Um, so solve the equation and let's do this very quickly. So we'll have 3x plus 18 equals to 4x plus 6. Or in other words, x equals to 12. x equals 12. There's another optional step that I do recommend that you do, and that's a check check for um, for mistakes. So basically, take your x and substitute it uh, somewhere, or substitute right, uh, maybe in your table or somewhere where you can check if it's a correct answer. For example, if we take this and we put it in here, uh, let's just see. So um, if this is 12. This is 12. This has to be 48. And if this is plus 6, this is 18. This has to be. So what is um, what is 18 times 3? Well, it's 3 plus... So 18 times 3 is 54. 
and here if we substitute this here 48 plus 6 is also 54 54 54 so it looks like we're correct it looks like we found the right answer and the last step uh, number six and that's when you have to because this is a word problem you have to write a word solution write a solution in words uh, basically answer the question um, verbally so in other words what we have to write is that uh, what's the what's the question? How is Malika now? The answer is Malika is 12 years old now 12 years old and Circle the 12 and that's it. That's really the solution to this question. All right So this is uh, hopefully this was helpful on how to problem solve uh, using linear equations and using word problems We're going to practice this a lot So make sure that you understand how to translate a word problem into a math problem basically into equation form Alright, thank you for watching and bye bye, good luck.